Hi, and welcome to Moodle. Today we're going to go over the basics of taking a quiz online. As you know, many courses require quizzes or exams, and they usually count a large part of your grade. So it's extremely important for you to understand what to expect when you're taking these quizzes online. Let's go ahead and get into a quiz so we can go over some of the basics. Now there are a few ways I can get into my quiz. If I see this icon right here, it means I do have a quiz that's due. I can click on the icon, which expands the description. I can then click on quiz one, and it takes me right there. Another way to access my quiz is to actually go into the course. So I'm going to click into the course, locate the weekly module that has the quiz in it. See it's right here. I'll open up week one, and as I scroll down, I can see quiz one right here. I'll click it, and now I'm ready to take the quiz. Once you get to your quiz, you'll see any instructions that your instructor has posted right here. And then below the instructions, you'll see a summary of the quiz, giving you the number of attempts allowed, the date and time the quiz opens and closes, and the time limit. Once you're ready to take your quiz, click the Attempt Quiz Now button. A confirmation pop-up will appear, and select Start Attempt. Immediately after clicking Start Attempt, you'll see the first page of questions for your quiz, and a quiz navigation block over on the left-hand side of the screen. Now below the quiz navigation block is a timer. Pay close attention to this timer, rather than your computer's internal clock. It's this timer that governs your quiz's availability. Once the timer reaches zero, your quiz will automatically submit. Any unmarked or unsaved questions will not receive credit. So as you scroll down the page, you'll begin answering questions. As you proceed through the quiz, you'll have the option to flag a question. Now this allows you to mark a question, reminding you to return to it prior to your final submission. Simply click the flag icon to engage the flag, and then click it again to remove. Now there is something I need to mention. Once you begin your quiz, using your browser's back button or opening a new Moodle session can cause serious issues with your exam submission, and it may adversely affect your score. Do not use your browser's back button to navigate or re-log into Moodle while you're taking a quiz or exam. Once you're ready to move to the next page, just click Next. After clicking Next, the question number in the navigation block will change color, indicating that the answer has been saved. You can, at any time, return to that question simply by clicking on the question number in the quiz navigation block. The current set of questions will be highlighted with a square around the question number. If your quiz has been broken into pages by the instructor, you can easily keep track of what page you're on within the quiz navigation block. For essay questions, it's recommended you first write your answers in another program, such as Word, and then copy and paste your answers into the exam. This prevents you from losing any work in case your connection goes down or something goes wrong. You won't have wasted any of your time because your answers will be saved in another document. Once you reach the end of your quiz, you'll be brought to the Summary of Attempts page. Here you can double check each question is answered, or easily see which questions have been flagged for follow-up or haven't been answered yet. To return to any of these questions, click on the question number in the summary of attempts or in the quiz navigation block. Clicking on that number will take you back to the question. You can then answer it. Continue to hit next or go up into the quiz navigation block and click finish attempt. Once you're satisfied with all your answers, scroll all the way down and click Submit All and Finish. However, if you do want to go back into the quiz, click on Return to Attempt. Remember, do not use your browser's back button, but if everything looks good, click Submit All and Finish. You'll receive a confirmation pop-up. Select Submit All and Finish. Once you've completed your quiz, you'll be taken to a summary page. Now, depending on your instructor settings, here you'll be able to review your quiz, see the grade you received, and see any feedback left by the instructor. Of course, if there are any essay questions, your instructor will need to grade those before you'll be able to see your quiz score. It is possible that your instructor won't release any quiz review options until after the quiz closes for everyone. 
If your instructor does grant you access to review your quiz, click on the review link right here. Once you land on the My Home page, you'll see that the quiz icon information has been updated to reflect the attempt that you made on the quiz. The quiz information for this quiz will disappear once the quiz closes for everyone. And if you have another quiz that shows up, it'll populate here underneath the quiz icon. Well, that about covers the basics on taking a quiz in Moodle. Thanks for watching, and happy Moodling!